Mark uh, seven minutes, uh, 45 seconds. Should be happening now. Columbia's main engine slowly being throttled back now. Should be throttled Not quite. They'll gradually throttle back to maintain three Gs, a certain uh, acceleration. And then just before cutoff, they'll throttle back to a 65% prep for Mark shutdown. Which is coming up in 30 seconds from now. Columbia now 63 nautical miles in altitude, 606 nautical miles downrange. Mark 8 minutes, 15 seconds. Columbia now... 63 nautical miles in altitude, 650 nautical miles downrange. Standing by now for main engine cutoff. Echo 25, 670, up at 220 feet per second. Right on, right on. Roger, Columbia. Cut off the main engines means that they can Confirm now just down, heading Columbia, the gym for their planned the orbit. Space not yet in orbit. They They're got down. enough of a kick Standing in the seat of the pants to get them up there. Separation. Now they'll separate from the external tank 20 seconds after cutoff. Okay, we got set. That's They've it. Got it. They've got it. Rates were low. SEP was Roger, on time. Confirm the SEP, Columbia. And two minutes from cutoff, they will uh, burn three. the orbital maneuvering Second. engines. Confirm external tank separation. Columbia now performing an evasive maneuver. Now John is at the controls. He's moving it out of the way. John is moving it away. Tank. Young That's should right. see it moving John away out of his window. And as far as we're concerned here on Earth, it's upside down at the, as of the moment. They're heads down. Of they're, course, they don't yeah. feel that. I know they're, that. They're weightless now, and they're not in orbit yet. The external tank is going to uh, re-enter in the Indian Ocean and break up. Uh, and that's what the orbiter would do if they don't do the, the uh, series of two burns mm -hmm. that, are, that are coming up. But they've got three Nine ways to 40 seconds, go no go status change, mission the, uh, control for the first old external burn. tank will break up over the Indian Ocean, and it has what they call a footprint. That is, a track that will go. It'll be about 100 miles long and 60 miles wide. They don't expect it to hit on land anywhere. That they pretty well... But it, it left on time. I mean, it broke yeah. away on time, so that means it won't hit Australia, which is the main worry. That's right. That's right. One burn attitude. Now they're going to have their first orbital burn. They're, they're going to turn on the orbital maneuver subsystem. Moving Columbia forward and higher on her flight path, placing Columbia in orbit. These are two little other engines that are in the back of the, air, of the uh, Columbia as well. And we'll be back checking on all of this, everything going extremely well seconds. for the Columbia Space Shuttle on Columbia this its historic first launch, going very well indeed. We'll have continuing coverage of it all right after this. NBC's coverage of the first Space Shuttle will continue in a moment. Status check in the control center. In Columbia, Houston, uh, we have 40 seconds to LOS. Configure LOS. You're looking good burning over the hill. We'll see you at Madrid. Okay, we got a second to go. We're in a 97 by 42 right now. Roger. Shuttle Control Houston, uh, 12 minutes mission elapsed time. Uh, we've had loss of signal with Columbia through Bermuda. The next station to acquire will be Madrid. Still receiving data, however, in the control center. Uh, right at the shutdown, they saw the, uh, or right at uh, loss of signal, they saw the shutdown of the uh, home.
All going well with the Columbia Space Shuttle, which was launched here this morning just about uh, 12 and a half minutes ago, coming up in 13 minutes now. When it lifted off, it weighed four and a half million pounds, and it's down to 200,000 pounds, which is the best quick weight loss diet that I know of. I'll tell you, get rid of all that fuel in a hurry. Well, it had about seven million pounds of thrust to take it off. The uh, spacecraft, which is now shorn of its auxiliary fuel tanks, uh, is uh, being listened to by the tracking station in Madrid. It's that far. It went off something like 13 minutes ago, and it's uh, being picked up by Madrid, Spain. We would like to show you the launch again, the videotapes that we've made here uh, of the launch that did take place just at 7 o'clock this morning, precisely on time, a textbook launch of the shuttle after a bad day earlier in the week. <clears throat> and here it is now. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. We've gone for main engine start. We have main engine start. shuttle and the shuttle has cleared the tower never came close to the tower they were a little concerned about that and it's turning around i have never seen one of these in person and i can't tell you i don't want to disappoint you in any way the kind of electronic distance between the television and the thrill of being there to watch it go is considerable Made your pants legs flap. I'm going to tell you, I mean, <laughs> that's what one of the guys said yesterday. Made your pants legs flap. It's all the 4th of July you've ever seen rolled into one, and that's about as good a description as I know. I'll never forget it. At about this stage in the launch, uh, astronaut Crippen, who was the first on his first trip into space, said, what a view, what a view. And he's just starting to see the great views. John will be pencilly calling him back from the window Roger. to do the job. <laughs> they are now... Um, well, they're way out there now. They're about 1,800 miles, I suppose, more than that. Um, probably over 2,000 miles downrange, heading for the coast of um, Africa, is it, Jim? Houston, yes, they go down over Africa and out into the Indian Ocean. They'll, uh, they'll be picked up by our Indian Ocean station at, uh, what is it, 40? No, it's before 44 minutes, about 35 minutes. So this is not where they are now, uh, if you're looking at your screen, it's where they were when the launch went off. A lot of very, very happy people in launch control here. Uh, it's all, after many years of delays and an awful lot of money, working perfectly. NASA, as you might expect, was very eager to have this happen because they figured that all the criticism of the space shuttle, the space transport system, will begin to diminish considerably once they get off in good shape as they have here today. We have some other reaction now to the launch. 7 feet per second. Duration of the burn, uh, 1 minute 27 seconds. Resulting orbit, uh, apogee 132 nautical miles, perigee 57 nautical miles. So Columbia is now in orbit, uh, not yet her desirable orbit. Nope. At the uh, start of Ohms 1, Columbia was about 400 feet below, 150 feet in front and 350 Ma feet north of the Eternal tank. Also, Columbia weighed four and a half million pounds at launch. She now weighs about uh, 214,000 pounds. So they're and hitting all the markers, aren't they, Joker? Not quite. Time, this is shuttle control with Houston. Uh, they're, they're, if they're at 132 miles up now in Apogee, uh, they were supposed to be 172 miles. No, no, no not yet. No. This, the first one was They're 130. They're speaking nautical miles, and uh, your chart is in statute miles, which accounts for the, uh, for, yeah, for the, the difference. The first one was, uh, as I saw it listed, was uh, uh, at 130 and 57 They're targeted thirds. for a 130-mile nautical mile circular orbit right. right? after the second burn. And that is 170 statute yeah, miles. Yeah, 130, 130. The that's right. Well, then they are on the money. Yep, they are on, right the, on money. the money. Okay, Bob is L standing down in the press site, and he's with a couple of people who have been here watching all of this, a couple of Californians, I think, Bob. True, and I must say, uh, I've been preparing for this thing for months, and it was so overwhelming that I can't even put it into words. Uh, you think you can be cynical about things, but the emotion of this. Uh, our Miami bureau chief, Don Brown, was sitting next to me. Tears were coming down his eyes, he, and he's a pretty tough guy. We have with me uh, two guys, Steve Spielberg, the, the film filmmaker, Governor Jerry Brown of California. What did you, well, Governor, what did you think? It was just great. Just watching that thing just take off, it made me feel like we got a lot of strength in this country, and 
and I hope we take some uh, heart from that and start expanding our commitment to space. It's real important for our spirit as, as well as our economy. Mr. Spielberg, what did you think when you saw it? Well, it, it, it sort of puts everything that we do in movies in, 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 in quick diminishing perspective. Uh, it was uh, a remarkable experience. It was a remarkable experience. I think it was for everybody out here. Thank you very much, and John? Everything going well. The spaceship is on its way, and we'll be back with more coverage after this.